Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Tiny Toon Adventures 2 Montana's Movie Madness. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com and that was a mouthful. Okay, and now I'm going to go to this part again. So I'm going to try a different strategy that I did not use the first time. And that was close. Basically jump up and kick the lanterns. I mean, what can go wrong if I do that? I can still get up there with a dashing jump. You won't even need the lanterns for that. Okay, I must be close to the point where I died. Like, I think I was on the top of this building. I think I just jump on it, or that's what I should have done. I don't know why I tried to dash under it. It obviously wouldn't work for me. So it looks like I reached the boss already. I am Kabuki Max! Be the snack of my powerful frog! Um, so we're going Japanese and French now. Two, three. When he throws three fans, the frog will try to lick you, and then you jump on his head. He alternates from platforms, like, all the way to the left. So keep that in mind so he doesn't jump on you. There we go. Wait for three more fans. Careful. Got him! That was an easy boss battle once you get the pattern figured out. Just remember when he has his tongue out, he will throw one more fan. And sometimes that can throw you off and hit you in midair. That's happened to me many times. Too bad you can't just fast forward the whole uh, point tally. But oh well. Yeah, get away from me! I don't want your aids! It's time for tug of war! I'm blah 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 your instructor. To beat Arnold, you must pull him into the water. Press left to pull on the rope while pressing A and B to increase the power. If Arnold starts to pull you in, press down to hold your ground. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Just hold down. Just keep tapping A and B whether you're holding your ground or not to make sure you got plenty of power. Whenever he gets tired, then you can start pulling with left. And when he's pulling, hit down. This is not a very safe game. Like, who plays tug of war like this with, sh with a shark? And Arnold is practically fapping while being bit by a shark. Nice. And I get to continue, which is going to be very valuable for the next episode. Oh, great! Cut to the future flick! Uh, Montana, you need a little bit of balance when it comes to movies. You've gone from a western to a Japanese flick to all of a sudden down to the future? That's like transitioning from Lord of the Rings to, say, I don't know, a Hugh Grant movie for no reason. Control the rocket as best as you can! Hmm. I'm hungry. Again. Well, that's Montana Max's fault. Apparently, he doesn't really have a lobby for food. Only a private one. Fu- Fur! Now it's starting to sound like Nazi Germany, but in any case... Yep, so basically, this is what the future looks like. Which, according to the 90s, what the year 2000 will look like. How wrong they were! It doesn't look that much different. This part can be tricky. Well, actually not this part, but I say the next screen or two. When you have to deal with the rocket. It's going to be a total pain in the ass because it's auto-scroll. But at least this part's easy. There's just plenty of pits to deal with, though. And when this platform starts shaking, you got to jump off. Okay, that part was easy. Now they're gonna throw in some other enemies that pop up from the pit that use the jetpacks. Usually when they're already at their height is when you want to jump for them. Because by the time you get there, they'll be down. If you do it the other way around, they're gonna hit ya. Now just think about where they plan to go, not where they're currently to. I mean, that's how you play Space Invaders, man! And the whalers are gonna stop! Not a dizzy, not a dizzy, not a dizzy! Oh, I lose five carrots. 
I was hoping to at least get Babs, because if you get Babs, she actually gives you an HP upgrade. Ah, see, that's what I mean. Try not to uh, jump when he's already down. Otherwise, you're gonna botch it. Okay, now we get to this part. This can be a total pain in the ass. I mean, think of it as, like, battle toads. Like, Turbo Tunnel. You had to jump at appropriate times. And you gotta use the ramps to your advantage, or disadvantage as well. If you jump while well off the ramp, you'll get a very high boost. But sometimes that can burn you because certain jumps require you to use, like, normal hop. Oh my god. Like, it's 99% trial and error. Because if you do, like, a short hop off the ramp, that can actually kill you. A long one can also kill you, depending on where it is. You have to remember which ramps are appropriate for your jump height. Just make sure you land on the ground and not into a pit. Or even hit a wall, because that can also happen. Like so. Well, th that part's okay. I just wish they were better indicated as to what height of a jump you need. And we're not done. There's still another part to do. Okay, jump over... Oh, no, 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 no! It was the next ramp I had to jump over. Oh, These are the parts I hate. Because unless you memorize the level, you're not going to win. In fact, you're going to lose constantly. Okay, this is the ramp you gotta jump over. There we go! I kept screwing up that jump many times before. Now I got a down path. Oh! I had to be at a much lower height. <sighs> this part sucks. And there's no checkpoints in the middle. You have to do it all the way from the beginning, every time. Have fun! There. Let's see if I can get further than last time. Yep, I did! Did I make it? Nope, not done yet! Oh! I should have just went to the right a little bit further. But again, how do you just know? At least I got that continue from the minigame, so I'm gonna meet you back at the uh, auto scroll part. Just give me a good minute. Sorry, Calamity Coyote. You're not gonna get Little Beeper this time. Or anytime. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and this is the point where I died right here. Let's try maximum reach with this jump! Yes, good. So that's how you get through that little jump. Luckily, the stretch right after that is very easy. Now it's just a matter of getting through the next few parts to get to the boss. Luckily, if you know how the platforms work, it should be no problem at all. Gonna dash over here. Like, you can't jump because the ceiling is too low. Oh, I can never make that jump, no matter how many times I try. Like, maybe a dash could work, but that's gonna be, like, my next option if I have to do this again. Because every other method so far just hasn't been working for me. Here, let's do this. I may have given him brain damage, but at least I'm getting what I want, and that's all that matters. And the wheel is I gonna stop it! Concord Condor points aren't exactly that useful to me at all. I would have preferred Babs, because at least I'll get an HP upgrade. Which lasts between, which lasts until I finish a continue, or at least finish the level. It's not really a permanent thing, but it could really help out. Especially against the boss, which as I've been practicing has given me a lot of trouble. 
I just hope it's not gonna be problematic this time. It's really the dodging that's an issue. I'm not even gonna take the chance to see if the side of the Crusher can hurt me. Because I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Even though that part of the Crusher can't physically be a threat to you in real life. Then again, this is not real life, this is Tiny Toons. Tiny Toons is the antithesis of real life. Might have been enjoyable in real life, but this is just not real. Babs, 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 I knew it. <sighs> why would it stop there? Dizzy, why would you like carrots? You seem like a junkie for junk food. I mean, not carrots. Carrots are healthy. Stop eating the damn carrots. They're mine! Okay, so the side of the crushers can't kill ya. But if you dash into them, then you're just gonna get stunned. I am Cybermax! You have no chance against my high-tech bodysuit! Oh dear. High technology. Wait, that's your high technology? Ugh! I always seem to get some timing wrong! Like, this is why this boss is a total pain in the balls to deal with. See? You gotta dodge the legs. You gotta dodge the arms. You can't just bounce on them because they hurt you. If I could have just jumped on top of them, then it would have been less of a problem. Okay, I got through that part flawlessly. Now, let's see. Okay, it's back together. Just wait for it to start dashing towards you, then jump on its head. See, that's the part I hate. Maybe if you're, like, flush right against the wall, I could probably dodge the arms a little bit easier. But I don't have to worry about that now, because it's finally defeated. Uh, Buster, you don't deserve to give a thumbs up. You did very terrible on this stage. I only got 67 carrots. I lost five because of Dizzy Devil. There, that was much better. I think I'm gonna have a very hard time replicating the uh, high score that I got on my first continue. Let's play soccer! I'm Coach Bookworm. Here are the rules. Score 15 goals before time runs out. Use the control fad to move left or right, and press the A or B button to kick the ball. Oh, okay, I see what I gotta do now. Okay, this seems very cumbersome, actually. Maybe I should just focus on one at a time. I just wish that furball would actually move from side to side. Give me a little bit of a bit of interestingness. Yes, I made up my own word, deal with it. I'm not going to get the 15 points, so there goes one continue I could have gotten. Why does Buster have to be so close to the net anyway to get a goal? Haven't you ever heard of sniping? Don't worry, you can do better next time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sweetie. Yeah, that guy that's a mug you don't want to chug. Does it? Give me the monster movie! Oh great, we're gonna get like some friggin' uh, God. monsters. Ah, uh, four doors. Only one door is the right one. May victory shine on you. Like, uh, uh, good luck. Um, thanks, Shirley. If you were so smart, you wouldn't sit in the front of the theater. I mean, that's gonna be bad for your eyes and to, like, arch your head upward. Monster. Mutter! So only one door is real? Hey, what's up? Yeah, bats! Okay, what was I supposed to do against that? Kick them? 
Kick a bat in the face. That seems very gratifying. I gotta give that a shot. That actually did work! Okay, now I know what to do if I can run into a bat swarm. So I feel a little bit of therapy against video game bats by kicking them in the face. Ho oh, ho ho, I killed two with one kick! Let's see if you can do that, Bruce Lee. Oh wait, you can't, because you're dead! Oh. Okay, that, that sounds very distinct. To stay school. I, I apologize for Bruce Lee's estate. Let's just focus on getting through this level and dealing with rat mummies. At least there's no rat mummy estate that I have to worry about pissing off. At least I don't think, at least. Or the ghost estate. Oh, maybe Casper. Oh, how did that hit me? I clearly jumped on its head. That's a bit of a BS move game. Uh. Whoa, that was actually a bit lucky. I thought that enemy was gonna hit me and I just kicked out of reaction. Now, let's see how am I gonna get through this. Is this gonna be the part with the doors? Hey, Babs. Hey, Plucky. Shirley. Hampton. Wait. Only one of them was actually moving. But I mean, that's a painting, not exactly a door. This could be a clue to something. There's four doors. Only one of them is real. But when you look at the paintings, only one of them was moving, and that was the first one. So I guess that means that the first door is the real one. Okay, how's this gonna work for me? Well, at least the top can't hurt ya. This gives you a little bit of a rise. Yeah. Babs gives Buster a rise all night long, if you know what I mean. The chandelier can't hurt you, can it? It can? I didn't even touch the flames of the candles. Okay, what kind of BS mechanic is that? <sighs> Whatever. I'm just gonna kill some bats and I'll feel a little bit better about myself and kick a ghost in the face. Okay, how the hell am I gonna get up there without touching the chandelier? Wait, let's, let's try this. A dash! Maybe that'll work. Eh, uh, not really, but I don't think it's worth it to get all just those carrots. Let me just focus on surviving. I kick out a bat in the ass, yeah! Okay, that actually does work. I don't really need to dash. Come on, I need something that's gonna give me my lives back. Sneezer? Is that you? Nope, you're 10 carrots. Well, I'm not really gonna do much with the carrots. But I'll take them, because, you know, they're free. Great, it's a candle from Beauty and the Beast, only without a face. Um, water? Oh! Well, that was simple! <laughs> oh great, I'm sealed in. And I take it the water is rising. Uh. Just go. Go. Just go, man. Don't bother looking for carrots. Just go. There. Okay, that part was also easy. Just one jump. Okay, how many water parts do I have to deal with? If I'm doing my dash, I could probably skip some platforms. That might be a good idea! No! No! Okay, note to self, when you get to that part, go back to the left. Now I'm back to my last life. Getting health and 1-ups has been a total sore spot throughout the entire game, actually. 
That was bad. That was bad. <sighs> Man. Okay. I think I'm going to stop the video right here. And in the next episode, I'll meet you back at the water part. Well, the second one. See ya.